Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to use the auto fix expressions method or function to replace all expression errors uh, inside of your project with some new fixed text. Now in this basic, somewhat practical setup, I have three text layers, each with their own kind of alignment, and they have an expression applied to them that keeps them at the width of our entire composition. In fact, they actually reference this other composition here, Comp2, which is 1920 by 1080, to get that width, and using a previous expression I developed with my friend Nasco, check out the I button here to see that video, uh, it will keep the text width at the width of our composition the whole time. But say I deleted that composition, you can see now we get three expression errors because these expressions were linked to that comp specifically. So what we can actually do to solve this issue is replace a bit of text in all of our expressions with something new, even a variable. So today I'll show you how you can modify this bit of code and easily access data from within your expressions. And this will turn all of your errors into working expressions once again. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you follow us there for coding updates. And in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with some of our awesome members and VIPs and mods and super smart people who can help you with pretty much anything. And if you want to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link in the description. So the project.autofixexpressions is referenced in the guide a few times. There was an update to it in April of 2018, which allows things in single quotes to be recognized as well as double quotes. But the main method itself here, we need to reference our app.project. Obviously, we're referencing the project-wide expressions, which have errors, and we want to call .autofixexpressions and provide it with old text and new text. Now, one of the unfortunate things about this is we can't replace expressions which aren't broken. So if I try and take comp1, some text called comp1, which is the current uh, comp it uses in here, and replace it with my test, unfortunately, it doesn't work because you need to essentially uh, have a broken expression for this to fix. So this only looks for things that are broken. So if you know it somewhere in your workflow, you might have an expression reference whose composition or layer is going to be deleted or change the name of it without letting the expression change as well, then this might be something that can apply for you. A lot of workflows use a lot of expressions on occasion. So if you notice that you're getting an expression error, you might be able to solve it with this technique. So we can pretty much write this quite easily from here. Um, and to reset this up, actually, I'm going to create a second composition called comp2 and I'm gonna change all of my uh, expressions to use the width of comp2. So it's gonna appear the exact same because comp2 is also uh, 1080p, but what I'll go ahead and do is actually half it. So it's 1280 by 720. And now the text will be half the size to reference that composition. So let's just say in our workflow, all of a sudden we remove this composition, but this is gonna give us immediate expression errors. Um, you kind of have to know what the error itself is. So if it's part of your workflow, that makes it easy. But if you're trying to solve more complex problems, you need a way to know what text is going to need to be replaced in your expressions. So we first need a variable for our old text, the error text that we need to replace. In my case, it's going to be comp2. And now we want the new text of what we're going to replace it with. This could simply be a predefined or hard-coded thing that you already know. Like in my case, my main composition here at the text is called comp1, so I could use comp1 if I wanted to. However, we can go even further and get things like variables. Uh, so I can reference app.project.activeItem, and that would use our current sequence. Or I could even create a new sequence. I could say, or a new composition, and say comp is equal to app.project.items. And I'll add a composition. We'll just call this test comp. We'll make it uh, 720 by 480. Make it pixel aspect ratio of one. 
and uh, 30 for the duration and frame rate. So this is something we can then in the future reference and say dot name. So we want the old text to be comp2 and our new text is actually going to end up being test comp after we create this composition. So I just wanted to show you not only do you, can you use hard coded new and old text, you can also use variable names if that's how it fits into how you're using it. So now to actually fix the expressions, we need to say expressions. Again, the first argument is our old text and the second argument is our new text. So now hopefully when I go ahead and save and run this, you can see now all of our text has been replaced here with test comp. Our test comp is a newly created composition uh, which has the same dimensions we gave it. And now because our expression was based on that composition's width, uh, it's now going to use that particular composition's width. So you could just keep going back in and um, adjusting as many expressions as you need. And again, just to explain, you don't have to use a uh, hard-coded text, you can also use variables. I could reference the active item, which is the active composition. We'll get the name of that and replace it. And it looks like we're getting an error. App.project.activeitem.name. That should be right. Maybe we need to make sure we have an active item. I'll try running that. Oh, and in this case, I'm the text I'm trying to use as old text is comp2, not our test comp. So it needs to, of course, use the right old text. So now that I run that, I can replace it with the composition this text is actually located in and give it a much more succinct and working uh, algorithm and even maybe change up the math in our expressions a bit to make it look better. And this is really just a very useful thing you can use to fix problems in your workflow, uh, fix problems in other people's workflows if you're making scripts for them, and uh, do things very quickly on the scale of your entire project. You could have 500 expressions which have errors, which is a thing sometimes. I have projects with a couple hundred expressions, and if you delete one thing, that could all be broken. And with this, you'll be able to fix those very quickly. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this. Try it out for yourself and fix all your expressions. Make sure you follow us there on GitHub as well for coding updates. And in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not a member of the Discord server, be sure to come and join. Get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with awesome members like... Uh, Night Wolf, who's one of our newer members, and uh, shout out to Dan P, one of our top participators. And if you'd like to help support our channel and get cool perks, you can also become a member on Discord just like some of those people by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Link for that is in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.